Hi, we're going to learn how to use Newman to run and test collections from the command line. In this video, I'm going to assume you already know about collections environments and how to use environment variables. You should also know how to write tests and run a collection in the Postman app. If not, go ahead and check out some of our other videos first. We'll be running collections from our terminal. You should already have Node.js and Newman installed on your machine. Let's get started in the Postman app. Make sure you have a Postman account and you're logged in. I know how to run this collection called Postman Echo in the Postman app, but now I'd like to run it from the command line. I can click on the ellipsis next to the collection and select Export to download a JSON file of the collection to my machine. If I have an environment that I'm using along with my collection, I can go to the gear icon and download a JSON file of the environment the same way. Let's go to our terminal. If I list out the contents of my current directory, you can see that I'm in the directory where the JSON file of my collection is saved. Since I already have Newman installed, I can just type Newman run and then the name of the collection file. If I wanted to run an environment along with the collection, I would use the dash E flag. In the terminal, you can see all the requests and tests that are running. This is the console output, but Newman has custom reporters too. For example, if you'd like to write a JSON or HTML file to your local file system. All right, let's go back to Postman. That was great, but what if I want to make a change to my Postman collection? Do I have to export the JSON file all over again? Yes, unless you want to run only the latest version of the collection. Let's do that using the Postman API. You'll need your Postman API key to access the Postman API. In the sidebar, let's find the collection for the Postman API. I'm going to select an environment that contains my Postman API key. Under the Collections folder, Let's load up the request to get all collections. Hit send. In the response body, let's find the collection that I want to run. Let's copy the collection UID to our clipboard. Under the same collections folder, let's load up the request to get a single collection. Paste the collection UID directly into the URL editor. Now previously we authenticated our request by sending our Postman API key as a header called XAPI key. Instead of doing it that way, there's another option to send our key as a query string parameter called API key. Let's do that here. Type directly in the URL editor, API key is, and then let's copy and paste our API key value here. This entire URL string is how we can get the latest version of our collection. We did this for a collection, but this is also how you would get the latest version of an environment using the endpoints in the environments folder of this Postman API collection. OK, let's copy this entire URL to your clipboard and head back to our terminal. Previously, we said Newman run the name of the collection file that was located in our local directory. Now we can say Newman run and paste the URL we'll use to get the latest version of our collection and hit Enter. Once again, we're running and testing our collection like before. This time, we can be sure that we're getting the latest version of our collection instead of a static JSON file sitting in our local directory. Now, say you have a continuous integration and continuous delivery, or CICD, pipeline, and you want to run these Postman tests every time you kick off the build process. We won't go over that here, but you'd set up your CI configuration to run the same kind of shell command after kicking off the build. This Newman script will return a pass or fail exit code that's logged in your CI system. And that's it. We talked about using JSON files to run collections and environments. Then we talked about a better way by using the Postman API to get the latest version of a collection and environment. In this way, we can use Newman to run Postman tests every time your CI CD process kicks off a new build. If you like this video, check out some of our others. 